Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the recipe of Bihari Tehri. You can enjoy it with any curry or stew. You can even enjoy it with just salad or chutney. It's a one pot dish, so you're not going to end up washing a lot of dishes as well. Just do give it a try. It's amazing. First of all, heat 3 tablespoons of cooking oil in a pan or a pressure cooker. Fry half onion till golden brown. Please don't skip this step as it enhances its flavor a lot. Keep the fried onion aside, whether you garnish the tahiri with it or not, but it flavors the oil very much. Now add 2-3 to three bay leaves, 1 black cardamom, half teaspoon of black cumin, 9-10 to 10 black peppercorn, 2 pieces of mace, a small piece of nutmeg, 2-3 to three cinnamon sticks, 4 green cardamom and 4-5 to five cloves. Saute the spices for a while, we just want it to slightly change its color, not aiming to darken or brown them. If you burn them, do not go any further, just repeat the process all over again. Now add half cup of ginger garlic paste, 1 tablespoon of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder and salt. Mix it well and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes or till the raw smell of ginger garlic goes away. When the masala is cooked properly, add 1 to 2 medium sized potatoes cut in small cubes and 1 cup of frozen or fresh peas. Now saute them for a while, cook them for 15 to 20 minutes on low flame. Now add rice and saute it for some time. I am avoiding this step so that my rice don't break or else it's not gonna look that good on screen. You don't have to soak them, just wash and saute them. Now add water one and half times to two times the rice if making in a pan and one to one and half times if you're making it in a pressure cooker. Cook them on high heat till it boils, then reduce it to low to medium flame. Cook them till the rice is cooked completely. Keep checking in between and stir so it doesn't stick to the pan. Please try this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you. We all want to learn restaurant style or street food at home. But do we ever realize there is a unique taste in every homemade dish? There are always some awesome and interesting recipes in every home which is known by only that person or very few people related to him or her. My aim is to find those hidden recipes and make them immortal. If you have such recipe which you want to share with the world then email me or DM me on my social media accounts. Mention your name and where are you from. Remember to share the picture of your recipe as well so I could better understand the texture and consistency of the dish. And if I like your dish, I'm gonna make a video on that, giving you all the credits and a gift hamper. I uh, hope you guys like this video. See you guys in the next one. Don't just dream, start working on it.